Hello and welcome to this basic tutorial for our asset True Random. To explain in short, in Unity, random numbers are generated in a predictable fashion using a mathematical formula, while True Random generates them using atmospheric noise, like mentioned in the introduction. What I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to implement True Random into your project. Therefore, we're going to create a Magic 8-Ball minigame. In case you don't know Magic 8-Ball, it's as simple as that. You ask a question, Magic 8-Ball answers it. The answer given is, of course, random. To add the prefab to your scene, simply right-click in the hierarchy, choose True Random and click it. As you can see here, you can directly test drive in the editor. For our Magic 8-Ball game, we're gonna need a few UI elements. To keep you from getting bored, I've edited this part of the video to make it faster. What I'm doing here is I'm creating an input field for the question, a text field for the answer, and a button to ask. Next, we're creating the script for our Magic 8-Ball game. We'll call it Test Random. First, we need two using directives. Unity Engine.UI to access Unity's UI. And of course, our namespace, random. Then we need a reference to our text field for the answer, that's public text answer. We don't need an update method for this tutorial. Now I'll paste in the answers I prepared beforehand. From this array of strings our tool is going to pick one as answer. To get the truly random numbers, the asset is using an online service. That means that there is a tiny delay while generating. And because of that and because we don't want your game to lag, we use callbacks. The most important callback for true random is on generate finished. trmanager.onGeneratInTeacherFinished plus equals on generate integer finished. Now simply copy that method, paste it, rename it to on destroy, replace the plus with the minus to make sure it's unsubscribed as soon as the object is destroyed. Next we need a public function to be called by our button. We call it ask and say trmanager dot generate integer zero that's the minimum number answers dot length minus one that's the maximum number and one that's the total number of integers to be generated. Now we need one last method on generate integer finished system dot collections generic dot list int result answer dot text equals answers result zero to be clear what on generate integer finished does is it is called right after generating numbers as finished. Then it takes the first element of the generated list of integers and uses it as index for the answers array to assign it to the answer text field reference. After saving it, let's get back to the editor. We need an empty game object to attach the script to. Assign the answer text field to it. Then, 
assign the ask function to the button. Now for the fun part. Let's ask some questions. Is this tutorial helpful? Yes, definitely. Does buying through random make you rich? <laughs> Science point to yes. Okay, one last question. Is the person watching this video going to get rich? Now I'm feeling wild. What? Okay, uh, challenging luck three times is enough for one day, I guess. So that's it for the tutorial. If you have any further questions, go to Tools through Random Configuration. Under the Help tab, you'll find linked buttons to the manual, API and forums. Of course, you can always ask us. For better understanding of the difference between the default random method and true random, follow the links provided in the documentation or below this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time!